Hello viewers, I'm Sakib. In this video, I'm going to show how to import font and color settings in Visual Studio from online. Okay, if you are going to open Visual Studio, then if you are going to look at the editor window, then by default you will see different colors are there. The way you are going to code it. Okay, so the whenever you are going to look at the comments color, then it will be green. If the key if you are going to look at the keywords then it will be by default as blue if you are going to look at the classes then by default these are in sky color if you are going to look at the string literals look at here and look at here these are all in red and all the identifiers and variables are or the method names are in black colors so these these are the default colors in Visual Studio but if you want to change, if you, are, if you think that you will change the fonts and colors, then you can import it from online. Okay, so many font and color settings are there, uh, but we need to know where to go and how to do it. So the, this process is importing fonts and colors for Visual Studio. Okay, so we are going to open Internet Explorer. And then you have to type studio style. Then you will see studio style.com or studio style.es. So click on this link. And in this site, you will see lots of font and color settings are there. And we are going to choose the first one or the second one. So I'm going to choose the first one, which is named as Son of Obsidian. Okay, I'm going to click on this, and you will see how it is structured and the fonts and colors. The different styles are there. So I'm going to download it now. So click on the download button. In a short while you will see and then you will have to save it okay if you are going to go to your downloads folder then you will see that it is downloaded there okay so you can scan it if you want to and then you will have to copy it and you will have to paste it in a specific directory so that you can import it easily so I'm going to cut it from here and I'm going to move it from this directory to a specific directory where you can import it easily for Visual Studio. So I'm going to go to the documents folder because by default your version of Visual Studio settings will be there. And if you are going to click on the settings folder, then you will see lots of different settings are there. Then copy paste the font and color settings what you have downloaded. And now we are going to import this in Visual Studio and we will see the different styles and different colors will be implemented there okay we are opening Visual Studio again we are closing this solution and then we are going to click on the tools menu then we are going to go import and export settings and in this case we are not going to export it we want to import it so I'm clicking on this radio button and then I'm going to click on next yes we want to save our default settings so it, it will be good if you are going to save because if you think that what you have changed your current settings if you want to redo your settings or if you want to go back to your previous settings then it will help you to go to there so I'm clicking on yes we want to save it then I'm clicking on the next button and if you are going to look at here carefully then you will see the name is there okay so I'm going to click on that font and color settings and I want to import it within the Visual Studio so that I can see the differences in code editor okay click on the next button then you will see what you have imported you are going to import fonts and colors only and this is the hierarchy okay so 
I'm going to click on the finish button. In a short while, it will process and it will import the settings. When it is done, it will tell import complete. Okay, now click on the close button. Import is done. Now how you are going to check it? Open some of your files. Like we are going to open a project and you will see a little while ago by default there was a different color and here now these are in different colors so in this way you can import font and color settings from online for visual studio so that you can you, you can code nicely or you can feel better whenever you are going to code okay if you want to revert the settings then what you will do now i'm going to close it here again I'm going to close the solution and then I'm going to go to tools and then I'm going to go to import and export settings now I, I want to import again so I'm going to click on next this time I don't want to save this setting because I have already that file so I'm going to click on no just import new settings override my current settings okay next I'm clicking on next and then you will see that a little while ago whenever we are going to when we have brought the new settings we have saved our previous settings so our previous settings will be there so this will be the and the right one okay now I'm clicking on next and then you will see your previous settings and now click on finish and in a short while it will say the process is done import is complete so click on the close button and you can check it that it is done or not so I'm going to open a project again and you will see if you are going to open a project you will see your previous setting is back so this is how you are going to you are going to implement uh, font and color uh, settings from online. You can do this manually one by one. You can set specific colors for specific things. But if you want to test online settings, because thousands of people or programmers are using this, and this is a good way uh, and it is good to see. So you can, uh, you can do this very easily. In this way, you can, uh, you can bring font and color settings from online. Thank you very much for viewing it.